A customer at Bed Bath & Beyond was falsely accused of shoplifting and he got the cops called on him. He felt it was because of his skin color. Take a look. So, um, apparently someone called us. They thought maybe we were shoplifting or something. Okay. Do you know who placed the call? I do not. Okay, well, it was a store. Yes. So do you know, it was, I mean, it would have been one of your employees. What, what would you like me, what do you need help with? I'd like to understand why they were called. Right, that's very simple. Why were the police called with the three black people thinking that we were shoplifting? I paid six hundred dollars for my thing, so obviously I, w I didn't shoplift. Mm -hmm. I want to understand why you thought I was shoplifting. You didn't place the call, but one of your employees did. I'd like to know why. Okay. All right. I mean, I'm not that's standard, right? I'm not being hostile or anything. Because he was, he asked the woman that we paid. I don't care. I mean, if there's if a big purchase items, that type of thing, there's usually a question. We just want to make sure. Okay, usually a question. I can understand that, but police being called, I can't understand that. Right, you, you that's usually a question, so maybe the store will ask a question. Or maybe you all follow me, maybe you follow me around. Sure. Rachel, but, can you come to the front? But that's not what happened. The police were called with pot, potential shot, which means we, that we call the someone... police all the time. They have our backs. We were okay, well that's fine, around. but you call you didn't call the police because we didn't shop. You called police because you thought we were shopping. If I spent six hundred dollars, I paid my money. I didn't shop Did you say called anything? Did anything say did anybody say Yeah, anything? the officer asked her, did we pay? Okay. So someone did say something. I we did do. pay. But what happened is you called the police while we were still on this side of the store. We were here for over an hour. So you called police when we first really got in here. Okay. Time out. I no, we don't call time out. I, no, we don't call time out. I hear what okay. you're saying. Sure. Come on. They want to know why the police were called. And they want to talk to the person who did it. And they want to know why they did it. Yeah, well, we were profiled. Exactly. Oh, I have one. You called? It's my right. It's your right to do what? Oh yeah, you, yeah, you hear right. So your right to do what? It's my right to call. Because you thought the three black people were shoplifting. Why? You called the police. You said we have a potential shoplifting. So you did say that. No, I'm reporting. You watch for Are you with these guys, sir? No, she's not with us, but she can stay. I, mean, I just want to know. So, sir, to make sure I'm not hostile, I'm not being violent. I just want to know. Why the store called the police because they thought we were shoplifting. We just purchased a new home, right? We came in because you all are closing. It's a closing sale. I didn't realize there was like a maximum number of items you could buy, right? So we were not shoplifting, but the police were called because you thought we were. Because they have... But we're oh, not, not going to be able to resolve this. I don't know what you want us to say, but I don't care if the white, black, or green. If somebody is walking around with big, high-ticket items... It, there's a lot of people walking around with high-ticket items. I mean, Dyson, so we're right. the final hot ticket item. That's why they walked it up to the counter so that... So, right, here's another thing, sir. Just so we can have the record straight. The hot ticket items, the hot, most of the thing I had in my budget was the vacuum that y'all took from me and put you, behind the counter. So, the hot ticket items... So, to be... So, so, to be clear, right. you all caught the police because the hot ticket yeah. items were in our budget. Yeah. I'm sorry? We're not getting anywhere, so if you got a complaint, file a complaint with the corporate office, okay? Well, we're done here. Our, our is done. Let me ask you this we question. No Let me ask you this question. question. You, well, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to him. Okay. okay. So what I'm asking you is, when you all came out and they said we had three percent shoplifters, they didn't describe us at all. They didn't like, they didn't let you know who we were. Two black males. Two black males. Yes. Okay. And so y'all didn't come find us. Y'all just stayed here until we came out, right? The main thing was nothing was concealed, so that's right. why we just stood by the door and we let it go. And right. I even mentioned that they could be paying for this, right. so that's why we didn't okay. approach or we didn't come up to you. Okay, so here's my question: When what is the the barrier that must be met for, for potential shoplift? They just say shoplift, you always come out, yes. or any basically store, any call. We get we get called all the time on stores potential shoplifters, and we go in the store and we. Okay, leave. I'm going to leave. I actually just need their name. So, can someone please their name? We have no involvement in okay. this. I'm not talking to him. I'm not sure why he's talking to me. Okay? okay. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So, you go, but can you understand why I'm frustrated, though? I do. Right? Because there are, this is a closing set. Many people have buckets full of things coming out of here. But we're the high-ticket items, which I don't know how you would classify that. And I saw y'all standing here. I was like, oh, the police is here. But then when I saw one of y'all say that they pay, I'm thinking, yeah, I pay. I pay with my debit card, not a credit card. I pay with money that I earn for my job. I pay with my degrees. And so what gets me is, you know, so 
Can I please, can you call them back up so I can get their names, please? Thank you. And that's all I need, their names. And I will take it up with corporate. My take on this is that the worker actually felt that they were shoplifting, but didn't have anything to do with their skin color. On the other hand, if you were that customer, would you have returned everything that you bought after being accused of shoplifting? Let me know in the comment section. You won't believe what this Karen neighbor is complaining about. Take a look at this. Hello? Knockity knock, knock, knock. Hello? Hi. Hello? Hi. Hi, I, I'm, I'm the neighbor across the street. I noticed that your, hello, I noticed that your grass is not standard. It's, I don't know what it is. I watched you come in from the store, hello. I just, I'd like to let you know about the grass. I, I brought some of my own. It's on the ground. I can put it to you. I can slide it on the floor if you want. I just want you to know what kind it is. Okay, well, you know what? I don't have a lot to do today. So I can hang I can hang here if you want if you want me to. wind chimes because it's been real windy and he said take them down that might affect my sleep but I don't I actually think it's I think it's the grass that's on my mind <laughs> okay. I'll wait I'll, I'll wait you are an apple of my eye. I think I woke up this morning and that was on the uh, alarm. You know how that just plays and it gets in your, you just, you hear it all day. It must have been on. I haven't heard that song in a while. I could take some photos of the grass, your grass, and I could put them up against my grass. You can compare notes because you'll see a big difference. Good neighborhood. Tell you that much. You are the apple of my eye. Nah, this must not be real. Imagine a Karen having a whole conversation with her neighbor's door. Unbelievable. This Karen will never cease to amaze you. Can you imagine this woman? She wanted to call insurance for damages over a balloon that hit her car. Take a look at this. How do I go about calling insurance? Because if you guys are going to think that this is okay, look, she's got one in her lap now. You're not talking to her, you're talking to us. Okay? If you want to talk about this, we will go around on the other side of your car and have a conversation. Do you want to do that? Yes or no? Yep. Just walk around. They're videoing me and throwing balloons at moving cars. So tell me what I can do. And if there's something that I can do, then I'll just handle it myself because I have their, their uh, license. It's not about the damage. If somebody was driving behind you in your car, throwing stuff out their car, hitting your car, are you not going to be upset? Are any of you not going to be upset? We can't go this far. So then I'm asking you as police officers, what can be done? So I'm asking you guys, what can be done? Can you imagine this? Karen really wanted to call insurance over a balloon that did no damages to her car. Come on.
you can really do better, Karen. When a customer who is also a Karen try to start an argument with a food restaurant manager, but she didn't take the bait. Take a look at this. Hello, can I speak to the store manager? Hi, can I have your name, please? Why? I'm Swak and who I'm talking to. Michelle. Michelle, and you are the store manager? I'm one. Okay, like, are you assistant manager or a store manager? Okay, hi, Michelle, the assistant manager. My pie is not warm. Can I have a warm pie? Okay, are you gonna warm a pie that I just ate out of that was cold, that was freezing cold? I'm gonna throw it in the garbage. Okay. What are you doing? Are you like videoing me? I am. Um, I'm wondering why I just got inconvenienced, had to come back here, and why I'm you giving you the frozen pie. It's not frozen. It's in the Remember, can I see the pie, please? What? Can I see the pie, please? Thank you. Is there a fork in the bag, please? What? Is yes, there a fork, a fork in the bag? Like no, it wasn't the napkin the first time, but thank yes, you for the was. napkin. It was in there. I put If I was that manager, I probably would have lost my job. But that's me. She was so nice and sweet to that customer. She definitely needs a raise. Don't you think? This incident happened at Kroger. Please take your time to watch this. We love racial profiling. You're staring at us, watching us do everything. It's my job. Okay, you can take a step back. You can take a step That's back, but you can take a step back. Don't get close to me. Hey, I'm, you don't, get you don't need, to, I didn't do you, anything. You don't You're getting up on me. Shut your mouth. I don't need to shut my mouth. It's a free country. I can say what I want. You're going to get yourself hurt. When you How? For what? What am I doing? Talk, what am I doing? When you talk like that to elderly people that are over 70 years old, you're going to get yourself in big trouble. How am I going to get myself in big trouble? They can watch the video of you coming up to us. It's okay. It's okay. They can watch the video. They can watch the video. It's totally okay. They can watch the video. It's okay. They can watch the video. It's okay. You racially profiled a black young man. You racially profiled a black young man. You racially profiled a black young man. Period. Gladly. 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 I'll have the cops come and Gladly. Go ahead. They can talk to me. You racially profiled a young black man because he's wearing a hoodie and shorts. I did you not. You definitely did. You know what? You okay, definitely you, did. Okay. Sue you me. You definitely did. Sue me. You definitely did. Sue me. And trust me. This is evidence. Sue it's totally me. fine. Oh, it's totally fine. What, what you, you sat there and racially profiled a black young man because he's black. Period. Start trouble. I'm not. You walked up on a 14-year-old. Get out of here. You man. walked up on a 14-year-old. Call the cop. Call the cops. Call the cops because you racially profiled a young yeah, black man. Get out of here, buddy. Are you threatening me now? Are you threatening me now? Yeah, you be my witness. No, ain't, no ain't nobody witnessing to no you. Witness. Nobody's witnessing to you. Yeah. You get out of here. You're a you person. A You're a person. You walked up on a 14-year-old man. Like, who does that? I'm a Vietnam veteran. Okay, you can step back. 
You, 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 you can sit back. Are you pushing me? I ain't touching you. My yeah, hand is right here. My hand is right nails, here. My hand's right here. You were going to hit me with my, a fingernail. No, I wasn't. Nails. Yes, you no, were. No, I was not. It's in the video. Yes, no, I was not. You're funny. This is why old people are senile. This is real funny. This is real funny. So hilarious. Great job standing up for the young guy. This old man needs to go home and retire. He doesn't have any business being a security guard at this age because we don't want him to get in trouble with the wrong person. Don't you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Karen sits in first class where she wasn't assigned to and makes a big deal out of it. Take a look. You were not assigned that seat. According they weren't to assigned a, that seat Yes, either. they were. And the way that the upgrade list works. So they come all the way up there. They change their seat to and indicate they, that the they're up front. And the person comes in like, yes. hey, you get to go to Correct. the front seat. And then they change I've it in the computer. I've never heard that before. Well, that's our policy. Yeah, so that's why we have upgrade lists. That and that's why all passengers have it their assigned seat. It still was the availability to buy it when you checked in. So there was nobody there. And how do you pick So that's how we have upgrade lists. So passengers that have status, other, uh, other status. airlines that fly with us. Yes. What's status? The status if you fly, you pay, you fly X amount of uh, dollars a year on our airline, you have different privileges. You're a priority member. I okay. think I am. I took 25 flights this year. That's what you get for profiling me again. I look like so, I don't take I just, 25 flights. No, I, I never, took I more never said that. Than them. You Listen, know, and we then, have and to then go it was the, uh, upgrade then it was okay? the customer service that I was getting. Everybody's getting smart with me. I feel like I got kicked to so, the back of the bus. I kind of no, feel like no, no, you no, kind of no. a little uptight with me a little bit about it. See, you just made me get off the flight and we're holding up a plane. So for you, what? So, so you're the one that caused a disruption on the aircraft. That's I caused what, a disruption. Yes. When? Did. That's why we're standing here talking. That when plane I, was that plane was ready for. When to did depart. I cause a disruption? When they put, picked me up and told me to move to another seat and I. I spoke to a lady all the way in the so, back. So the flight attendants requested that we reopen the door for the captain so we can have this discussion. Oh, okay. so the flight attendants had a problem. It wasn't me. If you if you were misbehaving or not following I the flight attendants. No. If you are not following What's the flight attendants instructions. I sat in my seat. What else can you follow? If you are not following their instructions, you just got then me they out have of no, my seat, sir. Yes. I so understand. how could I not been following instructions when you just pulled me out of my You're seat? You're following my instructions. No, I'm saying I was but, already sitting in my seat before you even came up to me. So why did you tell me to get out of my seat when you're saying I'm not following instructions? Are there cameras on there? No, I'm no, pretty no. sure there's cameras on there. Now I feel some type of way. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Okay. We have two options at this mm -hmm. point. We can go up there and continue this conversation, or you can resume your seat. I believe it's 14A. You can you just sit down. You pulled me out of my seat. I feel uncomfortable now. I okay, want to escalate this situation. Okay. Then and they have my bag. Too. Okay, we'll get, we'll get your bag retrieved. Yeah, I want and my then, bag now, please. Okay, and then what we'll I'll do I'll give is, you my thing so you can have it. It's a sky curb. Yeah, it's a black duffel bag. Because I'm getting kicked off the plane. No, no, you're not, you're not. I am getting kicked off the plane. You, you just said that, that getting, you wanted to go up there and I didn't say this I wanted to go anywhere. I just said I feel uncomfortable, and you decided to say I was going up there. So if you're this uncomfortable to fly on this aircraft, You make me I'm feel not... uncomfortable. Your staff makes me feel uncomfortable. You're saying I wasn't following rules when I was clearly sitting in my seat when you came over there and got me. And I videotaped the whole thing. So here's what we can do. All right. I'm, I'm upset. I'm upset. I so, want to talk to somebody. So I feel uncomfortable. I want to make sure that that's the right policy because now I'm over it. I got a booking to go to. I'm, not, I'm here for business. I'm not just flying around. Now it's about to be a bigger issue because I'm not about to go to my booking because American Airlines got me out of my seat to tell me I wasn't following the rules. What can, rules wasn't I following? Because I was you, asking questions you, about why they picked me out of my seat and put two white people in my seat. And now I'm I getting stated, put off my plane? Can, can like, are you, you kidding me? You, excuse me, ma'am. Can you go I'm back already to upset and you're yelling at me. I'm not yelling at you. You are yelling at me. Can can you I want to speak me? to somebody higher than you. There. There's nobody higher than Correct. you? Okay. So here's so we'll go back to the two Yes, ma'am. We'll go back to the two options. You just you, I just asked you. 
and, I, and, and you said you just finish, guided okay. me back to the door. No, we're still in the same spot. You I just got me out of my seat. Embarrassed me in front of the whole plane. I am good, sir. I don't oh, want to go back on the plane. You just got me out of my seat. It wasn't an option for me to get out of my seat. I was forced to get out of my seat to talk to you about something that I don't feel was right. And what I said in my seat anyway, we're about to take off. It's a whole, I don't know how long we were supposed to take off and get on this plane. And we're still talking about, because I had a question for a flight attendant and they didn't want to answer my question. So they called the manager to call me off the plane. Like, are you serious right now? So, so we can do two things, okay? You're not trying to, your customer service. I'm, I'm trying I'm to. I'm not trying to be, speak wrong, but it sucks right now. You see me sitting here crying and you keep you're, trying to be, there, there's two things we can do right now. I'm not getting back on that plane after okay. you just embarrassed me. Okay, thank you. That's what I needed to know. Honestly, if I was that employee, I would have called security a long time ago because she didn't let him get any word in. She kept talking over him. Unbelievable. Take a look at this Karen at Walmart. She uses an invincible card as a means of purchase of her items. Watch this. Swipe again, swipe again. She's swiping with her hand, yo. Swiping, no swiping. Swiping, no swiping. Swiping, no swiping. I'm doing without a mask. Hey, she got an invisible card, yo. You got so so explaining to do. Oh, she about to leave, yo. She leaving. Walmart needs to do better. For those individuals that actually pay, they would have been held at the door and the police called on them for not showing a receipt. Ridiculous.